Okay, if you've got the P1000, <clears throat> I've got my camera put in the movie mode. I went to my ex exposure mode and I put it on manual. And then you use the little dial or the dial wheel up on the top right hand side and you start clicking it down. Um, as you'll see here shortly when it comes into view, I've got it exposed at I think it's like 160. It starts at uh, 1 slash 60. <clears throat> and I'm kind of waiting for it to come down into the screen. And then I start clicking it, clicking it down to uh, 1 1 thousandths. Um, and I you know you keep clicking it down till you get pretty much the exposure you want on it and then you start seeing the crescent of Venus uh, when you overexpose it it will be a blob you won't get much uh, um, you know definition out of it and this is the same way with a lot of the stars too if you overexpose the stars you get these funky patterns and uh, you just won't get it to where it's supposed to be. A lot of times it's just a little pin dot in the sky on most of your stars. Except for your wandering stars. And even with your wandering stars you do have to get it in focus. Um, I can get them to do funky things out of focus. But all in all, um, you know, in focus you're pretty good. And um, at the end of this video I do take some pictures and when I'm taking the pictures I'm in the manual mode um, and also uh, I, I put it on the highest exposure on the highest uh, ISO um, but then it only allows you to take like a half a second um, exposure but then you can dial your wheel and make it less of an exposure time same way with uh, pretty much the um, exposure mode in uh, the movie mode <laughs> um, but you can basically give it less and less exposure and you'll see in the pictures uh, how overexposure um, works and how you know giving it the right exposure I think I only took a, a several pictures and only one or two of them would come out decent um, because I wasn't really wanting to spend a whole lot of time on this video and I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time out taking pictures tonight. And it's Mother's Day and uh, yeah, I figured what the heck. Uh, but you can see now I'm, I'm opening up the exposure, exposure in it more and when you got the overexposure this is what you get. Um, it's not a half crescent, it's kind of more of a blob but you can see that it's not round. Okay. Um, so here's my first overexposure and then I take another overexposure closer up and one a little further away backed off a little bit and then you'll start seeing me right here cutting back on the exposure amount and getting a little better uh, picture of it that one ain't quite so good. That's a little better. And I think I'm like at one uh, 25 thousandths of an exposure on the lowest one here. Um, which basically is that right there. Uh, that's as low as I could get it. But then I, I did go in manual mode uh, or back to the ISO and I turned it down on a lower ISO took a few more pictures got a little better of the crescent um, not as good as the the video though <clears throat> and then I turned my exposure back up because I kind of like these overexposed ones uh, especially the last one here um, all right have a good night and hope you enjoyed Mother's Day <laughs>